Welcome to LeetCode's Blind Curated 75, where I tackle the 75 essential LeetCode problems. This problem is longest palindromic substring. So given a string, S, find the longest palindromic substring in S. You may assume that the maximum length of S is 1000, all right? How do we find a palindrome? Well, the classic answer is to have a two-pointer solution. You have one on the left and you have one on the right. If the characters equal one another, you increase the left pointer by one and decrease the right pointer by one. And then you check, are these characters equal to one another? And you just continue on until you reach the middle. If you reach able to reach the middle, then it is a palindrome. So if we had like B, A, B, let's say we had one pointer at B and one pointer at the, the second B, we can check, all right, are they equal to one another? And once the left pointer and right pointer equal one another, then we know, yes, this is a palindrome. So how can we use that to see what the maximum palindrome in the string is? Well, we could go brute force, right, and check every single possible substring inside of the string. Say, okay, is B a palindrome? What about BA? What about BAB? AD? Blah, blah. All right, what about AB? What about ABA? And so on and so forth. That's going to be um, an end to the power of three solution, right? Because not only do you need to check every single possible substring, for that substring, you also have to check again, go through a pass and see if it's a palindrome. So we want to avoid that. How can we do better? Well, there is a brilliant way. And if rather than having two pointers, what if we started in the middle? Because if you think about it, it makes no difference. If we started in the middle substring and said, all right, what about A, and moved out to the right and left and had two pointers that said, okay, is um, you know this, the next index and the previous index equal to one another? And then we just continue on. And if we're able to um, uh, continue the, down this line, then that's going to be the, mac, the substring that we need to return. Okay, so knowing that, if we had a helper method to find us the longest palindromic substring inside of like uh, each character that we start, so let's say, okay, we're gonna start as this as the middle, and this as the middle, and this as the middle, uh, then we can actually do this in n of squ n squared, and that would be much better than n, n to the third power, right? Okay, so. Let's first create a helper method that's going to give us the, the longest palindromic substring for a character inside of a string. So let's say we add something, we'll just call it helper, and we'll pass in the left and right. And we'll say, okay, while um, S, or I'm sorry, while L is less or equal to zero, and R is less or greater, oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. L is greater or equal to zero, and R is less than the length uh, length of the string, and these characters equal one another. So L S of L equals S of R. And if that's the case, we will decrease our left by one, and we'll increase our R by one. And once we break this loop we want to return the substring. So we'll say L to R. But one trick thing here, we'll have to add a plus one. And the reason for that is the way that Python indexes work, the starting one is going to be the starting index, but the ending index, right, is going to be the length. So it's always going to be plus one in this case. So if we were to continue on this loop, we would act, it's going to be R, like let's say ABA, or BAB was the string, it's gonna end up with R equaling three, which is fine, but LR, L would be negative one. So we wanna start at zero, not negative one. So we'll have to add a plus one there. Okay, so great, now we have this helper method. So all we would need to do is move from I in range of the length of S, and we'll initialize like a result, and we'll say this is a blank string, okay? and we want to return the longest substring. So for um, 
let's say our test case will say return the helper of i and i. There we go. And if the length of whatever we return is greater than the length of whatever we've stored, then we'll make our result equal to whatever our test is. And once we're finished with that, we can just return our result, right? But one thing to keep note, what if the characters are even? So say we had like something like this. Uh, if we start at the middle, like that's not going to work, right? Because let's say this was a palindrome. If we just started at one point, we can never hit the longest palindrome here. So actually what we'd have to do is have one pointer to the left point at this point and the next pointer point at right. So we should check for both, whether it's an odd or an even. So we can just do that pretty simply and say, repeat this case, but instead of having i being the same, we'll just add one. And we'll do the same thing. It should be fine just to return the s once we're finished. So let's make sure this works. Yep. Length of s. Love those typos. Okay, so our test case worked. What about our submission? There we go. Yeah, so the very big breakthrough for me was when I finally saw that you could create a palindrome just starting at the, like the middle point and moving outwards. And that helped because if we can do that, we don't need to like figure out um, which two strings that we need to start at. Like we had this and we just went about saying, hey, all right, we'll want to start at each substring. Uh, that's going to end up wasting a lot of time, um, especially if we were trying to solve this in one pass, say that we had one pointer here and one pointer here, and we just were trying to decrease finding where the palindrome is. Well, how do we know if we want to decrease the right pointer, or how do we know if we want to increase the left pointer? So there's no real good solution there. We, we have to uh, figure out a better way to check every single possible um, substring. So this is, I think, the most efficient solution. Uh, I think there's one kind of obscure algorithm you can use, but I'm, I'm not going to go into that here. So thank you.